Oh, massive, massive. When you consider the cost of you know, Dim Church and Hoffman compared to some other wines from the new world and the old world, which similar quality, some are less, and they're asking for more. In terms of what you're actually offering cost per bottle, even though, yeah, like you said, it could, could be on the more expensive side, in the grand scheme of things, it's actually worth the money for the contents in which you're getting. Oh, de- definitely, when, you, when you're talking about Chris, who I, I, I deem as one of the best Shiraz winemakers in the world, and the attention to detail that I put into my vineyard, and especially the parcels um, that go into high-end products, not, not, just, not just the Dimchurch and Hoffman, but, you know, the Torbrick Run Rig, the Glades Home and Ra, the, you know, the yes. Two Hands Aries, you know, all, the, all those super quality, and, and it's not all the same fruit. How, how I grow for those different winemakers is, quite, is, is stylistically quite different. Um, mm-hmm. The soil types that on is different as well, but when it comes to the Dimchurch and Hoffman, it, it's really about going through the vineyard and tasting the fruit and seeing those very very minute differences between the vines and, and between the fruit and making sure that we're getting the best, I think, the best of the best fruit from my vineyard. 